what's going on guys welcome back in this video i'm going to show you guys how i made over 10 million dollars in gta 5 online in two days so around five million dollars a day playing gta 5 online using the auto shops two times money and two times rp bonuses for the week i've also leveled up quite a bit since this has come out and i want you guys to be able to take advantage of this so you guys can make yourself a lot of money and or level up so this bonus will be available to you until the 29th so you do have a few days to go ahead and take advantage of this so you guys can make the most amount of money possible using this money making method with that being said let's get started obviously you're going to need to own an auto shop to maximize your profits and actually be able to do this to do so you're gonna have to go to the ls car meets talk go through the cutscene and purchase a membership if you want it's not necessary but you're gonna have to go in there at least once then you'll go through cutscenes, meeting people. Then you'll be able to go on maze bank foreclosures on your phone, on the internet, and then go ahead and pick up the auto shop through maze bank foreclosures. And they are on sale currently for this week with the auto shops being the bonus of the week. One thing I do recommend you guys do pick up, and the only thing that you really actually need is going to be the accommodations. I think this is a crucial thing to have if you guys want to maximize your profits. As well, it's really nice to have a car lift extra car lift and a extra staff member but it's completely not necessary it's just something nice to have added on and if you're tight for money definitely don't get those two add-ons but you do want to get those accommodations especially because they are on sale this week all right so now that you have all the prerequisites to go ahead and make this money you're going to want to start the auto shop contracts now the auto shop contracts have been in the game for a little while now and they are two times money and two times rp and you guys can maximize your profits don't don't make the mistake of not finishing Finishing this video you guys are going to want to know some of the tips i'm going to give you guys it really really helps maximize your profits i didn't realize how much money you could make until i figured out these small things so first things first you want to get the union depository as your first contract to complete and it's not always going to be on your board and it does go on cooldown after you finish it so we have to work around that so to get it on your board say if you don't have union depository you always want to start with that so you're maximizing your time you're going to go ahead and see okay go up to the the whiteboard on the second level of your auto shop check it out and you'll see different contracts you might see the bank contract the data contract the lost contract there's all kinds of contracts but the one we want to see on our board is the union depository if it's not on there you're going to start up a contract simply go ahead and select one and then you're going to leave the auto shop and call Sensetta. now if you don't call her while you're outside of the auto shop she won't answer because she's in the building so you have to be outside of the auto shop for her to pick up and simply once you leave there you'll be able to call her and cancel the job and what that will do is it will kind of refresh your board it will wipe out one of the contracts that you have available to you and you'll have a new one so you want to keep doing this until you get the union depository because it's the best bang for your buck the union depository at two times money is going to pay you on average anywhere from five hundred and forty thousand dollars to six hundred thousand dollars so you guys definitely want to make sure you guys get this one because it is two times more than the average contract and it's two times the money right now so once you go ahead and get that union depository contract you're going to want to start it up and there's two preps to go ahead and complete this contract and i'm going to give you some quick tips really fast about how you guys can complete them so the elevator key will always spawn in the top left hand corner of the city in del piero heights area if you have a friend that has that apartment get them to spawn over there if not no big deal you're gonna have to go ahead and enter the building yourself drive over there enter the building you're gonna enter the building there's gonna be some enemies you're gonna go through the apartment take out the enemies and just beware of the guy in the bathroom at the very back he will come out and take you out if you don't take care of him before he takes care of you so don't go ahead and get greedy and grab the elevator key without taking him out i have died to him several times so just something to keep in mind and then once you've grabbed the elevator key you're going to go back the way you came from go down the elevator and you're going to actually enter in a garage now to take out the enemies in here I simply just throw a pipe bomb or a grenade on the right hand side of the garage the side that you come out of and it takes out all the vehicles on that side it takes out majority of the enemies if there's any more enemies I simply just walk towards the security vehicle that is on the left hand side in the back corner that is black and on my way there I'll take them out with whatever weapon I have available to me now I've never actually blew up the security vehicle by accident I don't even know if it's possible but something to consider is it could happen but I've never had it happen on me and I've probably ran this 
over 20 times. So once you've entered the security vehicle, you're going to want to drive it towards the auto shop's general location. And eventually you'll be told that you're not gonna take it there. You're gonna take it to a drop-off point and the drop-off point is near like Maze Bank slash right beside the depository. You're actually gonna wanna place the vehicle to the location that I'm putting it right here. It's definitely one of the most optimal places to put it. And after you're done put placing it there, it's gonna ask you to leave the area. You can simply run away and leave the area, but I always just end my life, take the easy way out, and then I go ahead and I just take two steps and the mission is completed. Now, if you're far away from your auto shop after this completes, you simply go ahead, set your spawn point to the auto shop, and then do a quick refresh by finding a new session and you'll spawn in the auto shop ready to start your next prep. So for the vault code prep, you're simply gonna head down to the airport, down to LSIA, and grab the helicopter. There's a police vehicle. There'll be two targets you have to take out, very easy. Take the helicopter, head down to the middle of the city. You don't have to lose the cops, don't worry about that. Just start heading towards that area. You're gonna wanna scan the blue vehicle with the helicopter camera. And you're going to want to set your helicopter to hover mode by clicking in on the left thumbstick. This will stabilize the helicopter while you're trying to scan. Then press right on D-pad, go into your camera and scan the blue vehicle. I think it might be a Comet of some sort or some type of very nice sports car that is always blue. And the manager will be sitting in the front seat most of the time. So take a look for that, scan that vehicle, and then it will tell you to tail the manager. Now you're going to tail him to one of the hotels. Don't get too close to him for too long or else you'll fail the mission because you spook him out. So you want to go ahead and tail him all the way over there. Once he gets to the location, he and his mistress will be somewhere in the hotel room on the outside and you need to catch him pretty much having his affair so you're going to take a picture of him as he's hugging the woman and to do this you don't have to get out of your helicopter simply just press right on the d-pad again go back into your camera on your helicopter and then look at them and take a picture using the helicopter camera and the picture gets sent directly to Sensetta, so you don't have to worry about that at all and the mission will end again if you're far away from your auto shop once the mission is completed and you've left the area you can go ahead and find a new session so you spawn at your auto shop. If not, you can just quickly fly back over. So now that you've completed two of the preps, you are ready to do the finale. And something with the finale that I always recommend is you always, for all of these, to go ahead and pick the hustler option for almost every single one of these. I think the only one you wouldn't is the ECU. You're going to always select the hustler for the Union Depository. Go to the security vehicle, drive over to the bank in the security vehicle, and you're actually not gonna go the stealth approach. You're simply gonna get out and shoot the guards so you can run. It takes way too long to scan the guards and all that. It's way easier just to shoot the guards and run in. There's only two targets you have to take out to do that. Grab the gold. So once you've left and went down the elevator, there's actually gonna be a area where there's a whole bunch of cops and stuff like that. Be careful of running into the area as there are two of these NPCs that will randomly spawn behind you and take you out and that really sucks. So just be mindful of that and then you're simply going to move out to the right after you take out the targets and steal the police vehicle that is here on the left hand side once you get in that you're going to go ahead and drive on over to the police station and there will be a helicopter on top just like the casino heist and if it's not there just drive away and come back it will spawn in for you guys and you'll be able to use that to fly and complete the mission or alternatively you can always just run across grab to your very very nice vehicles and drive to the point it's really up to you some people have mixed feelings on the helicopter approach, so you do what you want to do. Something that is really helpful is if the helicopter or the car is damaged, you can use the crew quick support fix, which will actually be accessed through your interaction menu. So you simply can go into your interaction menu, click the support crew, and then pick quick fix and you land your helicopter in there and it'll actually repair the helicopter and or a vehicle so that's really really nice for you guys to have if you guys are having issues so your payout's going to be around anywhere from five hundred and forty thousand to six hundred thousand dollars for completing this and it takes me about 30 minutes and that's with me doing solo so you guys can definitely cut time off that so 30 minutes to complete that entire contract so now that we've completed the union depository it's going to go on cooldown and i believe the cooldown is around an hour so you guys can't go Go ahead and complete it back to back you actually have to switch up which one you do and then the one i prefer to do is the bank contract now there are two preps for this as well but there is an advantage to doing this one and it's because the second prep is actually skippable so once you get the bank contract you're gonna have to complete the first 
of the setups and to do that you're going to do the thermal charges now all you have to do is head up north to the portion of the map where it's telling you to go to using a jet or a mark II oppressor or whatever vehicle you have the key is here is you take out the enemies that are really close to the thermal charges area blow them all up if you can and then don't leave your vehicle simply just hover over the thermal charges or land on the thermal charges without exiting your vehicle and fly away. The Hydra is really good at this and so is the Mark II oppressor so you guys can take advantage of this. And then we have the second prep which is the signal jammers and we don't have to complete this and honestly it's a complete waste of time even if you were to. All you have to do is start up the mission then exit the auto shop which it will automatically make you exit the auto shop when you start up the mission and then press start go to online and find a new session so once you go ahead and find a new session and you're back at your auto shop that prep will be complete without you having to do it at all so that's really nice and saves you a lot of time so you can run these quick so now that will bring us to the actual bank contract finale and real quick i'm gonna go over these if you are solo you're gonna hit the banks in the d e c b a and f order and then if you're a duo group player one is going to hit d e and f and then player two would hit c b and a just makes things run smoothly if everyone knows where they're going it really cuts down on the time and then if you are having a hard time losing cops which you almost always are at the end when you have to bring it to the drop-off point use the crew support in your interaction menu the diversion crew support to help you lose the cops makes this way way easier and you'll be rewarded three hundred and fifty thousand dollars so after that it's really up to you what you guys want to do everyone has a preference on which one they want to complete a lot of people like the agency deal it's really popular I tend to do the data contract because the second prep is skippable same way as the bank contract but it does take a long time it still takes me 30 minutes to from start to finish of the finale so it is a big time consumer if you guys have a recommendation of which one I should be doing instead of the data contract let me know in the comment section below so with this money making method you'll easily make a million an hour and help other people make money as well because you can invite people that will actually help you speed up this process and they'll make a couple hundred thousand dollars while doing so just so you know with a group of players it is much much faster especially if they know what they're doing and have all the spawn points that are necessary to speed up the process but if you don't that's okay you can run this solo I ran most of it solo I've gotten 16 million dollars with auto shop and 10 million of that has come from the last two days i hope this money making method helps you guys if you like the video please do leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching